Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm in one of the world's most technologically advanced cities, a real city of the future. I was a little bit thirsty, so I ordered a drink. I think it's just arriving. Welcome to Shenzhen. Said that you can upload a picture and he can like draw onto your latte or cappuccino. How cool is that? We need to try this. And here we are walking through the streets of Shenzhen and we're going to try to find some modern technological advancements that uh, should be quite easy in Shenzhen. So I've signed up already. It's payment using your palm. It somehow reads your hand uh, so that you can pay for things. It links to your WeChat payment method. Eye scanning, face scanning, phone scanning. I've heard of all of those payment methods before, but never hand scanning. How cool is that? Okay, good start to the day. I hopped in a taxi and headed to Shenzhen's new exhibition center for China's 26th high-tech fair. Wow, in these places there's just so much to see and look at. So this is really cool. Here we have a bipedal robot outside the Chinese Academy of Sciences stall. They've been given this by their partner and then they are in charge of training it. It's an AI learning algorithm, so it will learn itself and it will look for specific shapes and be able to use the delicate amount of strength to move things. Very modern, very cool, very stylish, very tech. Robots, bipedal robots. I feel like this is the big future that everybody's so interested in. So this is the 26th China High Tech Fair, and I think it's safe to say that Shenzhen is the perfect city to host this. Merely 40 years ago, Shenzhen was just a simple fishing village on the south coast of Guangdong province. And look, in 2024, it is bustling. It's an absolute metropolis. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. <laughs> what, I don't even know what to call this. It's like a massive drone that you can sit in. Two people can sit inside. This is like flying cars, you know? You need to get across Shenzhen in five minutes, call the flying car. Wow, and look at this concept one they have. Maybe 20, 30 people in this one. 300 kilometer range and a 250 kilometer an hour cruising speed. Maybe next year they'll have one outside flying around. I'd love to try that. So cool. Walking around the fair, I was getting a little thirsty, so I decided to try a robot-made coffee. And they said that you can upload a picture and he can like draw onto your latte or cappuccino. How cool is that? We need to try this. One coffee cost 9.9 .9 RMB and the whole robot station cost about 100,000 RMB. People think that robot coffee shops are a gimmick. We don't need that. Why would we replace people making coffee? Can a person do this? Okay, an absolute overwhelming amount of things to look at and things to learn here. Pretty incredible. The future looks bright in the China High Tech Fair. Leaving the fair, we made our way onto the metro to see one of Shenzhen's newest metro lines. We're going through the tunnel right now. This is the back of the train, but it's the same at the front. There is no driver, it's automated. There are no dials or controls or anything. This whole line, automatic. How cool is that? We got off the metro at Qianhai Bay to look around a few popular tech companies based in Shenzhen. First off was High Grade, known for its drone light shows, but not only do they have drones, they are working on many other interesting projects. So right now we've got some robot arms, and they're actually really good. You can turn like the wrists, you can reach for things, and you have a little button to grab as well. It's pretty easy to put stuff with these little cars. Next up, we stopped at a leading tech company that specializes in innovative cameras. Everybody should know this, that knows cameras? Of course, Insta 360. So they've got so many different styles of cameras and they're all kind of funky, like they have these little tiny cameras 
They have a lot of 360 cameras, a lot of action cameras. I feel like this sort of company is exactly what Shenzhen is all about. Pushing towards the future and keep going and try to make something new. Back on the metro and heading deeper into the city, we stopped at a couple of interesting metro stations. And here we are at Gangshan North Metro Station. Look how aesthetic this place is, it's beautiful. There's actually so many people here, all dressed up, just taking pictures. And of course, you can't talk about electronics and technology in Shenzhen without mentioning the world famous Huachang Bay. The area's status as a major electronics manufacturing hub and sprawling electronics marketplace have earned it and Shenzhen nicknames such as China's Silicon Valley and the Silicon Valley of hardware. What's absolutely crazy, this center has six or seven floors and there's probably 15 of these places in the street. Just a ridiculous amount of shops and electronics. So easy to get lost. You can literally buy everything here, it's crazy. Anything to do with computers, cameras, hair dryers, phone cases, printers, game things. Just anything electronic. Leaving the electronics market, we made our way to a famous shopping area, situated right beside the fifth tallest building in the world. And our time here in Shenzhen has come to an end. And it's clear that this city is not just a hub of technology, it is a glimpse into the future. From the innovative wonders of the high-tech fair to the seamless efficiency of the metro, Shenzhen stands as a testament to modern ingenuity. Walking through the bustling streets and futuristic companies, it's evident that Shenzhen is not just a city of dreams, but a living reality of progress and innovation. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.